Can you believe it was 24 years ago that friends first hit our TV screens, changing the lives of just about every 90s kid? Although the show ended 14 years ago, my god I feel old, we still love it as much as we did from day 1. In this video we will be taking a look at what the cast looked like in the series finale versus today. Aren't you all dying to know how Jennifer Aniston literally has reversed the aging process? Cause I sure am. Now stay tuned to find out. What's going on guys, my name is Stella Nicole and this is Celebrity Body Transformations. I would love to hear from you guys next so let me know who you want me to talk about next in the comments down below. Now let's get started. Now let's begin with Jennifer Aniston. Women everywhere are envious of Jennifer Aniston as it seems that this beauty simply just can't age. Like seriously, what is her secret? When we're looking at her face and looking at these pictures of her when the series was coming to an end to now it's hard to believe that it was 14 years apart. She looks damn good and looks almost identical from her early years. Now are you ladies ready to hate Jen even more? This woman doesn't even use Botox to keep herself from aging. She revealed that she's gotten laser facial peels which is her secret to a soft and smoother face. Face. Damn, and to be honest, I do believe her because if you watch any of her new movies, you can see she has so much movement in her forehead, indicating there's no Botox there. So you know this woman isn't lying. Now, when observing her face even more, you can tell she hasn't jumped onto the lip ejection wagon just like everyone else, as her lips are still thin and more natural. And to be honest, why change what's not broken? She certainly doesn't need to do anything to her face. When it comes to Jennifer's body, well, all I have to say is have you seen that clip of her when she's stripping in the movie We Are the Millers? If you haven't seen it, then you should take a look at this. There's nothing else to say after watching that clip. She looks pretty fantastic and it definitely looks the same if not better than when we last saw her on Friends. She credits her body to healthy eating and having a variety of workouts so she doesn't get bored doing the same thing over and over again. Well Jennifer, I can't say it enough but you look amazing and I truly hope to age like you someday. Now moving on to Matthew Perry. It's fair to say that Matthew looks pretty different from his day of playing Chandler Bing. When placing pictures side by side of what he looks like now to how we remember him, a lot of people are in shock. He put on some weight and is rocking some stubble on his chin. Listen, not everyone can age gracefully like our girl Jennifer. Some people change beyond recognition as they Age and he's one of them. Although he looks incredibly different than the young Chandler that we knew, this all doesn't matter as long as he's healthy and still on the right path to a sober life. Now moving on to Courtney Cox. Now I love Courtney, but she's a great example of how easily it is to go overboard with fillers and it can change your face for the worse. Let's take a closer look at Courtney's face. She was always such a natural beauty, and looking at these pictures near the end of the series finale, she was very fresh faced, wore barely any makeup, and clearly had nothing done to her face. Her face is very symmetrical, and I want you to look particularly at her cheekbone area. They are natural. Full. Now I remember seeing Courtney years later after the show ended, and I thought to myself, what the hell happened? This would be in the years of 2012 to 2014 when her face completely changed. Courtney over injected her cheekbones. First in 2012, she injected her cheekbones to create a more contoured look, which ages her even more. And in 2013, she looks unrecognizable. Let's look how high they are, her cheekbones are, and it makes her face look super puffy and swollen. Her eyebrows have been lifted from Botox, and she definitely has over injected with Botox here. She also done her lips as you can see there is more volume in them than what she used to have. Thankfully Courtney realized her mistakes and decided to dissolve all the filler that was injected stating this, I've had all my fillers dissolved, I'm as natural as I can be, I feel better because I look like myself, I think that I now look more like the person that I was, I hope I do, things are going to change, everything's going to drop, I was trying to make it not drop but that made me look fake, you need movement in your face especially if you have thin skin like I do, those aren't wrinkles they are smile lines, I've had to learn to embrace movement and realize that filler are not my friend. I have to agree with Courtney, she looks so much like herself now since she moved all that filler from her face. It's like the old Monica Geller is back. Her cheeks have gone down dramatically and she has chilled it on the Botox, giving her a more natural and refreshed look. She doesn't look older than her age now, and I love that she came to her senses and changed her mistakes. Courtney definitely didn't drop the ball when it came to keeping her body in tip top shape. When comparing her body to then and now, she looks pretty similar even after having her daughter. She's super petite and credits to healthy eating, cardio, and weightlifting. Rumors have emerged in the past about her having a possible boob job, but I'm leaning towards a really good bra. What do you guys think? Now onto Matt LeBlanc. Now Matt was always a heartthrob and was always in great shape back in his friends days, even though Joey's love of all things high in calories. Matt was thinner in his much better shape back when friends ended. Matt is now channeling his inner George Clooney by rocking his grey hair, and I kinda like the whole silver fox look he is going for him. He looks very distinguished. Another change we see that Matthew did was he put on a little bit of weight. You can really see it in his face here. Despite all this, 
I'm really digging the way he looks now, and I have to say he's aging very gracefully. Now onto Lisa Kudrow. Out of all the ladies from the cast of Friends, I would say Lisa has done the least to her face, and she's really embraced the aging process. Now looking at these pictures of her face side to side, you can tell that when she was younger, she had a lot more volume under her eyes, and she rarely had any wrinkles. But as she got older, you can see that she has lost the volume underneath her eyes, giving the illusion of a more hollow look. She's gone a lot more wrinkles, which of course is normal as you age. Judging by what she looks like now, she's definitely a state away from Botox and filler and has opted for a graceful aging process. I still think she looks great either way, and I commend her for not succumbing to Hollywood's pressures to look perfect. Now into David Schwimmer. Looking at David's Instagram profile, I'm wondering what his secret is to aging gracefully. Not much has changed since we last saw David play Ross Geller. I mean, he's still rocking the same hairstyle and some of his photos on Instagram. He's grown in some stubble and possibly gained a few pounds, but nothing dramatic. I wonder if him and Jennifer go to the same laser treatments as each other. Hmm. Alright guys, that's a wrap on this weeks episode of Before and After Body Transformations. My name is Sonico and thanks for watching this video. Let me know who you want me to document next and you can reach me via my Instagram at Sal Nicole. Bye guys!